so this is mostly random um but we'll get to it oh crap i don't want to lose my remote um <laughs> Whoa. um out of everything here i've all the media you'll be surprised to know that i only found one tape and i found it today i found Wes Craven presents Don't Look Down. Unfortunately, I need to figure out how to get that stupid sticker off. I found this at the Goodwill store today. Not the bins. The bins was a bust. It's been trash for a while now. So none of this, almost like two things from came from the bins in this whole thing. Kind of. Like four things maybe now that I look at it. Um, but Wes Craven's Don't Look Down. Let's see? ASMR. Um... As you can see, it does not need to be rewound and does not have any mold. So yay! Okay. Um, today I also found because I just went to the regular store today. I have. I found this. I'm not a hundred percent cent sure I own it, but it was still sealed. So I have the innocence. In no sense, can we talk? Um. I have been searching high and low for this book. Um, I was hoping I'd find the vintage version with like the like regular artwork, but I will take what I can get. And I finally found it. The Hellbone Heart by Clive Barker. It is extremely rare, rare to find anything, any books by him in a thrift store. And today I found three. I found this one, I found um, another one that I already own, but I can't remember the name of it, and a book that I own, a hardcover version for, of Mr. Be Gone. Um, so I found a three in the wild today, and this was only $1.99. I was like, me, I if I didn't get this at the Goodwill, Goodwill store today, I, it was not going to make it to the bins, and if it made it to the bins, it would have just been all trashed, but I finally found a copy of one of my favorite books. So excited! Um, anyway, oh, so we will have a book to movie comparison video coming soon because I have read this. I've listened to the audiobook. So like I said, this is one of my favorite horror books of all time. Just finally, I was so excited. I, I wanted to cry, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I found all of these three things today at the regular Goodwill store. Good thing these were still $1.99 a piece because last week at the Goodwill store, I found some things, but uh, hold on, I'm fine. I'm just stacking them all up, but they decided they were going to increase their pricing to, hold on, let me see one of these you can see. This one you kind of can to three dollars and 14 cents i'm like y'all get this stuff for free for free i don't get it the lady said they have to increase their prices just like everywhere else and i'm like y'all ain't gonna move this shit fast enough it's just gonna end up next door at the bins but this will not make it to the bins it'll someone will be like me and be like i gotta get it now because it's not gonna make it and if it makes it then it'll be trash by the time it gets in there because the people at the bins are just some people are cringe like the guy that was eating fried chicken while going through the things i mean it was just weird i was like why does it smell like fried chicken and there was a guy eating fried chicken and going through the bins and i'm like ew anyway as i digress i found nine inch nails um beside you and time 24 songs from the from the 24 songs from the live with t 2006 tour including the hand that feeds only closer head like a whole hurt wish terrible live march of the pigs um and it, and it was in there so i was excited i'm like this they had that they had marilyn manson guns god and government on dvd but i have that on blu-ray so i just bought the dvd um all of this they had so much horror most of it i had or didn't need um but this is all that i wanted because i didn't own it so Let's get into it. Um, we found, I found Don't Torture a Duckling. All these are $3.14, so 
um, actually, I got one of these for free because the guy was not paying attention as he was, you know, scanning these little codes. He probably thought he scanned them all, but he only charged me four. Two, three, four, five, six instead of seven. So we have Don't Torture a Duckling, and that was in there. It's in there. All of these were in good condition. So we have that. We have a Warner Archive. Ugh, these need to be cleaned. That's why I need to do this video so I could clean them, file them. We have um, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Again. And it's in there. Ugh, I'm slowly collecting these single releases on DVD. Um, this is the first one and it is... Um, I would have died if it was the other one I'm like really looking for. But it wasn't. But I will take anyone and it is hellraiser bloodline i'm telling you my favorite one of my favorite franchises so i got two things added into my collection um hellraiser bloodline this is the one with the girl with like the split where her head is cracked open the cenobite and it's like pinned like these are weird ass movies but um it tells you how the Kilomet configuration came about and yada, yada, yada. But I'm really looking for Hell World. That's the one. I'm getting closer because Hell World is the next one, I think, in this. I'm not sure, but as, it doesn't matter. I'm getting closer. I got one. Hellraiser Bloodline. We got Night of the Demons 2. Again, they're all in there. These just need to be cleaned, filed, put away, yada, yada, yada. I only own Night of the Demons. The, this is from 90. This is the one from 94. I have the, uh, it's right there. Kind of somewhere right there. Night of the Demons. Um, we have Dario Argento's The Church. I found these. I didn't, all these I didn't own. So these are all going in there. And last but not least that I found last week at the retail store, Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Didn't own any of these. So pretty stoked to add all of these um and then I think these were bins finds because after I found these I went was it the next day or the following I think this was Saturday Friday or Saturday I do not I can't totally remember or recall but these are all bins finds so we got I found Children of the Corn. I think the one I have the seed, the disc is scratched, I believe. I don't know, but I found the copy Children of the Corn. Um, never seen it, don't own it. Um, Altered States. We got some CDs. We have Coal Chamber in there. So, yeah, Coal Chamber. We have. Gwen Stefani, Love Angel Music Baby. And I like this one because it's like a little book. See? Because I did own this CD when it first came out, but it wasn't this deluxe edition or cool looking one. It was just like a plain regular old CD in like one of these cases. So, I found that. That Gwen Stefani CD. This was in the bins. Like, like these are all from the bins. It's until I say otherwise, I have Best of Bowie. Because I love David Bowie, so found that. And then another Gwen, her Gwen CD, um, The Sweet Escape. It was her second one that was in the bins as well. These were like, it was like funny. These were like sitting on top of each other. I'm like, I want those CDs. So that way the people around me would not take them. And they were like, you can have them. And I'm like, Phew. Um, This is weird. It's weird because all these were in that one bin. I found these really cool um, vintage Halloween cookie cutters. We have a witch, a pumpkin. This one says boo, and we have a skull. Um, I was gonna go to Michael's today and buy magnets and turn these into magnets and just put them on my fridge. Cause I was like, I have no idea what to do with these. I'm not gonna make cookies with these. That's too weird for me, but they are vintage. And it's sad that, you know, Things that from the 90s are now considered vintage, but it is what it is. But I found these. Um, and this is going to my Cream Puffs daughter. I have one, but I saw this like under a pile of stuff and I'm like, please let it all be there. But I found the Nightmare Before Christmas Jenga. So I have one over there for me that I've had for a while, but 
I saw this, so when I opened it, like the only thing wrong with it is that piece that's missing. But all the blocks are in there. I counted them all. There was like 54, I think, that are supposed to be in there. Yeah, 54. They're all in there. Um, the only thing that was missing is the loading tray, but you can use, I don't really think you need a loading tray. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to stack these, but anywho, they're all in there and I'm going to wash the blocks and then I'm going to hold on to it till I see my bestie again for, for brunch and this is going to her daughter. Um, and then I found some of like these two at Savers. Hold on, I'm missing something. Okay, I found it. Um, these three things I got from Savers. Where did they go? Okay. Um, I found another movie. Like, most of this is all DVDs. Um, that's what I'm saying. Very, 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 that I found. Didn't find me a chest. I don't, I didn't own this. Um, The Possession. I really like this one. It was fun. You know, it was good. But I found that one. Didn't own it. Now I do. Also from Savers, I found the novelization of Tales from the Crypt, Demon Eye. If I've shown this already, I don't remember so suey hmm. um last thing that I found from savers hold on perched it was this cute top um it's like five bucks from old navy I've already washed it and worn it and washed it again so we have this um looks big but it really isn't it fits so you know it's just plain black textured cute but anyway continuing on we went to the flea market and actually only picked up like three things i got the novelization of queen of the damned for a dollar so i now own this and these little like horror postcards that were a dollar we have another hellraiser object that i picked up and we have scream 2 so got these um, okay, the rest of this is like retail store stuff. Um, so I ended up finding the layer of the white worm steel book at Walmart. It's 20 bucks. Um, so mm, I got it. Um, my husband bought me these yesterday at Big Lots. We have, I didn't own this one. It is Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the 13th Ghost. So it's $3.99. He bought me this at Big Lots yesterday. And he bought me this. It's vampires. And he was like, mm-hmm. Season two of Blood Ties. So now I need the other season of these. So we have that. Um, he also bought me some Halloween soap. And they're so cute. Um, see, they have little bat wings. They are Midnight Amber, but they're so cute. Um, let me see. Can't, I like the way they smell. Yeah, they just smell like clean. I don't know. It sounds, smells like church to me. I don't know, and I liked it. So, Midnight Amber, you know, like Midnight Mass. Eee, eee. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dork. Um, and last but not least, um, Donna and I went to go see Oral Peck last week. Um, I drove. She was my sugar mama for the night. And it was very kind of her to get me a shirt. So she got me this a cropped top-ish type of thing. So we have that. I have that Oral Peck. Um, wear it with my high-waisted leggings. Um, I think that is about it. I don't have anything else. Quick, simple to the point. Bye. Just kidding. I'm back. Um, I found two more things. Um, my husband bought me a new mug, Beetlejuice. Here we go. I'm like, where should I put it? Beetlejuice. Do, 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 do. Um, pretty big, you know, I was drinking my coffee out of this this morning. So that's why I didn't, I spaced. And I forgot, I was like, I know I bought three things at the flea market, and this was the third thing, but I forgot I washed it. My husband said I needed it. It was two bucks. This Halloween shirt. It's very hard for me to show this off, but yeah. I was actually surprised it fits me because it's a small, but he said that fall is coming and I needed this, and for two bucks, I should get it. So I listened to him and I purchased this. So 
two bucks for this. That's why I forgot it was hanging. I did laundry. So now that is it. Bye.